Welcome to the TAP area. Here we focus mainly on the Link Trainer, which was the first flight simulator of TAP in 1946. As you can see, it looks like a toy, but it's not. It was the first flight simulator where the, the student would be here on this simulator and the teacher would be here on this table putting the coordinates and so on. Here we have an evolution of the items used in the meal service in all flights of TAP. So now here we have an evolution of the TAP uniforms, not only the cabin crew, but also the mechanics and so on. Now join me in the upstairs, in the Anna room, where we tell the story of air navigation. Here we have uh, the first air traffic control tower room. So here it was in the 70s, a lounge area of the Lisbon airport. Here we have the check-in area from kind of 70s and 80s. As you can see in flight, aerodynamics is very important. So everyone was weighted, the bags and also the people on the plane. Now join me to the journey to the historical hangars. So we call this historical hangars for a reason, because in 1920, when the military aviation school came to Granja do Marquês, it was on these hangars that were placed here, the school. And as you can see on this panel, uh, it shows in the 20s here where we, we, are, we are right now, uh, the angers of the military school. Dedicated to modern fighter planes and the Falcon 20. So now here we have the T-37, a very important aircraft in the wings of Portugal, the acrobatic patrol that the Air Force had. Then we have the T-38, it's a very important fighter uh, training plane. Before the T-38, we had the T-33. So this one is the Alpha Jet. It was the fighter training plane for the F-16 fighter pilots. Dedicated to the Colonial War. All the aircrafts that are in here operated in that war. We have here the T-6 which was a training aircraft and it was armed to, you, to be used as a fighter plane in the colonial war. The green one, it's a DO-27, it was used mainly in transport. This one is the Fiat G91 version R4. It was the fighter, uh, the fighter plane used in the colonial war. And on this side, we have the helicopters that were used in the colonial war. We have here the Alouette 3, the Puma and the Alouette 2. So now we are in the Pioneer's room. It's a, it's a room without aircrafts, only with fine pieces. Because here we tell the story of the golden age of aviation in Portugal, the 20s and the 30s, where it was made a lot of pioneer trips, as you can see on this map. So now here we have original chair of the Quadron G3, 
which as you remember it was the first military instruction plane and here we have a photograph of the first course of Portuguese pilots that took place here in Portugal in 1917. Now come with me and let's go outside. So now we end our journey here in Sintra in our exterior taxiway. Here we have the P2 V5. It was the only exemplar in, the, in Europe. It made maritime patrol. And then it came along the P3P, which had the same mission. And then you have the Aviocar, which uh, came before the C295 that works still at the Air Force and made all kinds of missions from transportation and parachute droppings. So now the visit here in Sintra is over, but join me in our visit to, the, to our next pole in Alverca.